Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to replace the battery in an Apple iPhone 5C. This is a difficult process and professional installation is highly recommended to avoid accidental damage to your iPhone. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to remove the two screws on either side of the lightning port using a TS1 pentalobe screwdriver. Next, we'll need to detach the front glass. You need to use a suction cup to lift up on the glass near the home button, but make sure that it doesn't open too far and damage the internal cables. While it's possible to do so by using a single suction cup, a specialized iPhone screen removal tool will make the process a lot easier. Once you've opened the iPhone, detach the suction cups or opening tool and set your iPhone on your work surface. Lift the front screen up until you can remove the four Phillips screws that hold in the metal plate near the top right of the phone. Once you remove the screws, you can set the plate aside. Next, unplug the three cables that attach to the screen so you can set it aside as well. Then, remove the two screws holding in the small plate near the bottom of the iPhone and set this plate aside as well. You can now detach the battery cable underneath. Use a nylon tool or other instrument to gently lift up the tab along the bottom edge of the battery, then slit it in half. Gently pull each half of the tab around the outside edge of the battery in order to detach the adhesive. If you make it all the way around, you're in good shape. However, since the tab and adhesive strip are rather fragile, there's a good chance one of them will break. If it does, you'll need to very carefully use a thin, flexible item about the size of a playing card to gently cut through the adhesive. This process may take quite a bit of time since you need to be very careful not to press down on the iPhone's logic board when you do this or you risk damaging it. Once you've cut through the adhesive, you can lift the battery up and out of the iPhone. Set the new battery into the compartment on your iPhone and make sure it lays flat. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow it to stick. Next, reattach the battery cable to its connector near the bottom of the phone, then replace and secure the cover. You can now reconnect the three data cables attaching the screen to the phone. Then replace and secure the cover. The longest screw goes in the upper right position. The next longest goes in the upper left. The two remaining screws are the same size. There are indentations along the top corners and edge of the screen. Slide these into the iPhone so that they latch on the corresponding tabs, then angle the screen down until it presses into place. 
Finally, replace the two TS1 pentalobe screws on either side of the lightning port. Once you fully charge your new battery, your iPhone 5C will be ready to use.